Good afternoon, this is Schweitzer. We're going to walk through an answer key of how to do this worksheet. Um, we've covered a lot of this in class, hopefully, um, or if you missed a class and you want to know how, how this works, then this should be a good way to get, get you moving in the right direction. Now, we're looking to possibly try your own and then pause and check your answer. That's the most effective way to try out this problem set. All right, so we have here is several KA, KBs. You should note that this one here happens to be a KB. This one is a KA, and this one is a KA. All right, so a 10 milliliter sample of a 0.15 molar HCl. Now notice there is no KA for this. This is a strong acid. And we're just going to be able to um, if you want to find the pH of this thing, you could just negative log by 0.15, but that's not what it says. It says how many milliliters of 3 molar NEOH will it take to neutralize? All right, so the reaction's running like this, and we've already done some of these already, but um, HCl plus NaOH yields H2O plus um, NaF, okay? So it's a one-to-one -one ratio is really what we're trying to get out of this. And that makes it proportional. Okay, so I have a three molar, and this is going to be I'm a 0.3 molar, which is twice as concentrated as the NaOH. And the fact that it's twice as concentrated means I need, need half as much, so the answer is going to be five milliliters. What's the pH after this is added? Well, all I have is the, the acid's gone, the base is gone. This is actually a neutral salt, which we'll eventually talk about later. But for strong substances, this is going to be neutral. All right, keep in mind there are two factors that affect the ending pH of something. It's the concentration and the K values. So this guy has a concentration and this guy has a concentration and both their K values are off the chart. They go to completion. So they don't have these guys, so that kind of wipes them out. And now it's just concentration. And that's kind of, in a nutshell, why we're neutral. What's the pH at this point? It is going to be 7. Um, strong acid plus a strong base will yield a neutral solution if they're matched with equal concentrations, equal amounts, equal moles. Okay. All right, next one. What is the pH of a 0.3 molar HCN solution? And it wants us to draw um, four of them in the beaker. Okay, so it's a little bit of review. I'm gonna do it up top here. First thing we do is write out the hydrolysis equation. Okay, initial stoic ratio end. This is going to be 0.3, um, not playing a role. 0, 0, plus x. I'm sorry, it would be minus x. So 0, 0, minus x, plus x, plus x. Of course, I'm shifting this way because I don't have any products to speak of at this point. 0.3 minus x and x and x. My hydrolysis equation, Ka equals the concentration of my H plus, my concentration of my Cn negative, concentration of my HCn. All right, let's take a moment, solve for x. My Ka is given here at 6.2 e to the negative 10th. Again, that means this thing is a pretty weak acid. It is still going to be a stick acidic because there's none of the cyanide to speak of to counteract it. So it's going to be 6.2e to the negative tenth equals, and start plugging this in, it's going to be x squared. This should start to becoming old hat over 0.3. Use the shortcut, multiply times 0.3. So this goes times 0.3 and then I'm going to square root. So it's going to be, the answer here will be um, 0.3 times 6.2e to the negative tenth, and then square root it to get rid of the x squared, and that equals x. At that point, if it wants a pH, you would negative log this value. 
and that gives me my pH. Let me cage your answer. All right, next one. Uh, it says 7.5 milliliters of 0.3 molar NUH is added to the solution. Tell me the pH. Um, I'm just going to draw these in here quickly. That's from the first one. I notice I'm adding enough of my base to knock out half of my original. I have 15 milliliters, I'm not adding 7.5. Since I have a same concentration, I know I'm knocking out half of it. So, calculate the new pH. Okay, now on this thing here, um, let's go ahead and give my, I'm a, uh, let's go ahead and do the first part first. I have to neutralize some of this. So, with that being said, there's a two part problem here, and I'm going to give myself just a little bit more room on this. Might need to do so as well. I'm just going to give myself a little more room. Um, just to show you what's going on. All right. There we go. So, first part is I am going to neutralize some of my HCN. In fact, I'm going to neutralize half of it. So, it's a two part problem. First is the neutralization, and then there's equilibrium. We'll see in a minute. Now keep in mind, strongs will react until they're gone, until they're gone. So all of my hydroxides will neutralize the HCNs until all of these are pretty much being consumed. And we note that there's enough of this to consume half of that. Let's go ahead and show that reaction. I have H CN plus OH negative produces CN negative and water. This guy grabs a water, an H and forms a water, and then this is what's left over. So what I'm ultimately doing here on this thing is every time I add a hydroxide here, I'm converting one of these guys over to one of these guys. I'm rolling them over. And if I have 10 of them, well, then I have enough to roll half of them over. So I'd have 5 and 5. I've rolled half of them over. Let's take a moment and calculate out how many I actually have. Molarity equals moles per liter. So molarity times liters equals moles. All right, so I have 0.3 concentration. And I have, um, I'm going to do this guy here first, the 15. That's the point uh, times point zero one five, and that's going to give me my total moles of HCN. That's 0.3 times point zero one five equals point zero zero four five. Okay. Now I notice that's all of it, and disproportionately should note that. This is the HCN, so this is 0 0.0045. So how much of this do I have? If you do the math here, it would be 0 0.3 times 0 0.0075, which is half of that, which is 0 0.00225. 0 and the reactant one on rations, this is my limiting reactant. That's what these guys do. So it's going to be minus 0 0.00225 minus 0 0.00225 goes to 0 0.00225 and 0. But I'm also going to gain 0 0.00225 of this. This is required work on an AP test. If they have that, they'll have a point for this. Okay, unless you can find some other way to get your answer, which is always possible. And I will show some of that later on. All right, now what I want to run my reaction is going to be now I have HCN left that's battling this way, and I have CN negative, which is now going to be battling back this way. So we're going to have a back and forth battle between these two guys. That's equilibrium. So I want to use my hydrolysis reaction for that. HCN 
plus H2O yields H. Uh, I'm going to put the C in there first just to be consistent. Uh, H2O goes to CN negative plus H2O. All right, now i got to put my concentrations in here. I'm just going to run an stable like I am. Note the same number of moles. I need molarity here. So I need to divide this by my new volume. My new volume is uh, going to be 15 milliliters plus 7.5 milliliters. And 22.5 milliliters. Which is... 0 0.0225 liters. Move it over three spots. So divide by 0 .00, 0 0 0.0225. Divide by 0 0.0225. And I'm going to get my concentration for each of these. All right. So I'm going to take the 0 0.00225. Divide by 0 0.0225. And I get 0.1. And that is not right here. This guy here also will be 0.1. They are the same. Notice that at the half equivalency point, these two guys equal the same thing. Okay. All right. So now we run a typical ice table. It's not. It's sort of typical. It runs the same as always. You'll see. Not playing a role. Zero. Minus x, plus x, and plus x. 0.1 minus x, and 0.1 plus x, and x. I have, my, I have my same expression as above. I'm going to plug in and solve for x. I'm going to use this cn right here. Okay. I'm going to use that and plug it in. My ka value is 6.2 e to the negative 10th. Now keep in mind that I have equal concentrations of acid and base. My acid is extremely weak. It's not able to use this 0.1 to push very hard. So this guy pushes a smidge, and this guy, therefore, must be pushing much harder. This thing is going to be basic. All right, now product is going to be these guys. I'm going to use my shortcut rule here, just go 0.1, and then times x, and this guy is 0.1, and there we go. And these guys will cancel. And my x equals 6.2e to the negative 10th equals x. Note that this is not something that you should ignore. That the half equivalency point at this guy, they always ends up being this situation. By half equivalency point, this guy always equals that guy. So they'll always have this nice little cancellation that occurs at the half equivalence point. So there is an opportunity for a shortcut here. But don't take the shortcut until you understand what's going on. All right, so now x equals the concentration rate of um, H3O+. Plus. Sorry about that. That's my hydrolysis equation. And I'm just going to now take the negative log of my 6.2e to the negative tenth. And this gives me my pH. And this is going to give me about 9.2. Of course, it's in the basic range. Why? Because I had equal concentrations of acid and base, and I didn't end up having uh, a smaller K, A than KB, so the KB won out. All right. Um, let's go ahead and look at the next question, which is what happens at equivalence. Okay. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room here. Um, actually, let's just uh, clear the ink off this thing. And let's try this next one. Okay, you might need a little more room for where you're at. All right, so now um, let's take a look at this guy. Now, the picture-wise, I didn't do that one yet. Let's finish the picture quickly here. It would be... H, C, N, H, C, N, C, N negative, and C, N negative. I'm halfway. This guy was H, C, N, H, C, N, 
HCN, HCN. Okay, now on this guy here, you'll note that we're using 15 milliliters to, to now neutralize a bunch of our stuff. Okay, so now you'll notice that 15 milliliters, I got 15 milliliters, 0.3, and I got 0.3. So now I have enough base to neutralize all of my stuff. Okay, so my picture in the end is going to look like this. Notice that all I have here is CN negative. And as we mentioned, CN negative is a weak base. So this thing was weakly basic. This thing also will be weakly basic. All I have left is my weak base. All right, and this thing was weakly acidic. All right, let's walk through this thing. Now again, this is a two-part question. The first part is a little bit of stoichiometry neutralization. I just call it stoic because strong acids just and strong bases neutralize to the end until they're gone. And then we're going to have a little bit of equilibrium. Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have HCN plus the hydroxide yields CN negative plus water. Okay, initial split ratio in the end if you'd like. I'm just going to do a little subtraction instead. H2O. Mind you, I'm just using this guy to roll one of these guys over here. And you should note that I'm going to be rolling all of it over. Okay. So I had my original molarity um, was going to be, original moles, was molarity times liters equals moles. That's going to be 0.3 times 0 0.015. And that was the 0 0.02 number. 0.3 times 0 0.015 is 0 0.0045. Run that again one more time to make sure I got that right. I think it was, yep. Okay, so 0 0.0045, 0 0.0045. This guy is 0 0.0045. This guy is 0 0.0045. And they're equal, which would make sense. Now, I'm going to lose 0 0.0045, lose 0 0.0045, and I'm going to gain 0 0.0045. And I'll have 0, 0, and this is it. Now, we call this the equivalence point, meaning that these two are equal, and all I have is this left. So, next thing up, I'm going to need concentration. Notice that I have 15 milliliters and 15 milliliters. I have doubled my volume here. So my original concentration went from 0.3. So you would think that I would be able to cut that in half uh, to 0.15. Let's see what happens. Same, these are the same. So now I had a 0.3 originally, and now I have the same guys over here, but I'm in twice the volume. So 0.15 makes sense, but let's try it out. I have 0.15 plus 15 is 30 milliliters, that's 0 0.03 liters, 0 0.03, and take the 0 0.005, divide by 0 0.03, and it is 0.15. And that is my new concentration. And that hopefully makes sense. And this is some stuff that needs to soak in every now and then. Now, last little bit here. I only have a base, so I am now required not to use the acid hydrolysis, but the base hydrolysis. If you have both present, you can use either. But if I only have base, I have to use the base hydrolysis. And base hydrolysis looks like this. Okay. Initial, split ratio in. And now this problem is pretty much like any other problem. All right, what we would do is put our 0.15 in here, and I'm just going to walk through how you would solve this problem, and we will not be doing the actual math. I'll be doing just the highlighting of it. We've done a bunch of these already, even on this worksheet. Uh, 0.15 minus x, x, and x. So my now, because I'm using the Ka, the Kb, I need the Kb, which you're going to need to use Kb times Ka equals Kw. All right, figure out the Kb. 
that equals the concentration of HCN, concentration of hydroxides, over the concentration of CN negative. Okay. Plug in, solve for X. So it's going to be equals X times X over shortcut 0.15 equals my KB, which you should have calculated. Multiply and square root. So it's going to be the KB times 0.15 and square root to get my x value. Now, one small thing here, the x is going to equal the P, uh, concentration of hydroxide ions. So we have a negative log of this to give me the pOH and then convert to pH, which is 14 minus. Okay? All right, next one. Now, that was uh, one uh, where we're mixing stuff together here. Now everything is identical except we're turning it around and we're doing basic stuff. Okay? And we're adding an acid. Alright, so the solution is basic, okay? Write hydrolysis reaction for this. Now this is one I'm just trying to catch you. Let me see if you remember this. The guy has got to be gone. So it's going to be F negative plus H2O yields HF plus OH negative. Calculate the pH of a 0.5 molar NEF solution. This is absolutely identical to what we just did in the last question. So I have a Ka given in the problem at the top of your sheet times Kb equals AKW. You should try to solve this on your own before I show you here, or at least outline it. So um, at this point, I am going to do that. I'm going to run an ice table with this guy. Okay. So initial concentration, strike ratio, n, this is 0.5, not playing a role, 0, 0. So even though this guy produces an acid, there's just not a lot of it there. Okay. Minus x plus x plus x, 0.5 minus x, x, and x. I'll be using my KB expression to get this guy x squared over 0.5, solve for x, and then at that point convert it to pOH, and then pH. Alright, so again, good to go there. So, what are my new concentrations? So now, I'm going to add 20 milliliters of this stuff of HF directly to that guy. So a little bit different. Now in the last problem, it's kind of an important little piece here. In the last problem, we added an uh, outside substance to roll an item over. In this case, I could do this by adding an HCl, for example. And I could, every one of these I add, would knock one of those guys over to these. And we subtract it off, and we add it to the other one. But now, I'm just going to manually add this guy right into here. So now, first of all, what are my new concentrations? I have 20 milliliters and 20 milliliters. So now my original F negative, now you could use the M1V1 equals M2V2 in a few places here that I've, I've done this. You could use this. I use molarity as much as I can, molarity formula, as opposed to this. But you could use this here. Um, but this one, note that we are doubling our volume, so we're going to go from... 0.5 down to 0.25. So that's the F negative. And the HF, which of course started out at 0.5, also is going to have its volume doubled. So it's going to also be 0.25. Those are my new concentrations that I have here. Now we're just going to see it a little bit straightforward. Um, I'm going to use this uh, same equation because uh, you probably have that one all set. So F negative plus H2O yields HF plus OH negative. Initial split ratio N. This is 0.25 and this is 0.25. Now, I just made a comment. So I'm going to use this equation because you got it already kind of ready to go. But if you have both of these guys present, okay, this is by the way called a buffer. Anytime you have both a weak and the conjugate available, it's called a buffer. I have both present, so I could just use this.
right? This is my acid hydrolysis equation. This is my base hydrolysis equation. And if I were to use this, I would need to use the Ka with this guy and the Kb with this one. And I have 0.25 uh, each. And I could run the same. It does not matter. You get the same answer. This one, I'll get, I'm going to get the hydroxide concentration and then the PaOH and then the pH. This one, you would have to, you would get the H plus ion concentration, which you could directly convert just to pH. Okay. I'm going to show the calculation, calculations here quickly with this guy right here, just outline them. The Kb, which you should already have, is equal to, and now I'm going to run this thing through, and you'll just kind of see how this works. 0.25 minus x. Uh, this is going to be 0.25 plus x and x. Okay. Now, I happen to have equal amounts here. Okay. So you'll see our little shortcut might happen again. It's going to be 0.25, use the shortcut rule, times x, and then 0.25, use the rule again. And once again, it will cancel, and my x equals my KB at this point, only because they're equal. At that point, negative log will give you the POH, and then the diff 14 minus that value will give me my pH. Okay. All right. At that point, um, we'll stop there. I know this is a bit chew off. Do your best you can. Thank you.